Recent Fed data shows that Asian-owned businesses were nearly half as likely to get all the funding and credit needed to run their businesses. Our Kate Rogers has a closer look at some of the new numbers, Kate, in the lending gap here. Hey, Sarah, that's right. That Fed data also showed that Asian owners were more likely to rely on their own funds for financial struggles and were more likely than white owners to say that access to capital was a challenge. It's something that Jay Lee experienced when getting his small business, No On, a Korean gastropub, off the ground in 2019. The bank wouldn't loan me money. I, I had, it was difficult even, you know, uh, finding, finding other resources. And, um, and ultimately, it came down to me um, just putting in everything I had, borrowing a little bit from my parents and my brother, but we needed more. We turn to Renaissance, which serves low to moderate income communities and immigrant small business owners in New York. Since 2018, the group has provided more than 2,000 AAPI owners with more than $20 million in loans and grants. Brian Chunton and Pei Wei received assistance from Renaissance for their restaurant, Zab Zab in Queens, as bank funding also proved difficult. When you go talk to them about borrowing and they say, what kind of business you're in? You're in a restaurant, it's high risk business. So a lot of them uh, don't want to give you that funding. This, this Center for Responsible Lending is urging for disaggregated data so we can continue to follow up on the topic and understand how different minority groups are receiving funding and how to best serve them moving forward. Carl?